Hello again, everyone, and welcome back. Today I have a build that was requested by Baby Girl Dad. They asked me to build a home for a single dad with two teenage daughters. So here I've built a home that I've never used this combination for on the exterior. It's that old, old brick that we have, along with the French windows and doors, and then the newer black roof. And I absolutely love it. The fence was already here from the garage lot, but I've added a hot tub, I've kept the bar out there, and then I've added the barbecue area over here to the side. I really love this exterior, and you can see the front entryway there. It's sort of asymmetrical with one window to one side of the door. And when you come through that front door, you come directly into the living room. I'm also in love with this room. You have a view of the patio right there through those windows. I've used that dark colored flooring, which matches great with those farmhouse stairs. That's a pretty close match there, especially seeing as how we don't have many staircases that match our flooring. So I think that was a good choice for this room. And then I've taken the dark wood and balanced it out across the room on the television and then taken black furniture throughout the room. And I think the room really pops, especially with the deep teal color. And you see the black light fixture over the TV that glows behind there. And then we have the white windows and doors. So lots of contrast going on in this room. And I love how it turned out. This was a room by room build. And this is the first room I built besides the garage. This is just the first actual room that I built of the home. In here is a more old fashioned, traditional kitchen. I used the farmhouse items. I hadn't used that sink in a while and I wanted to use that. And I thought it would just make for a really nice cozy kitchen for a small family. And the farmhouse table and chairs would have been a little bit tight of a fit, so I chose that set instead. So coming back through the living room, there's a door at the foot of the staircase and you're gonna walk into a laundry and bathroom area. Again, with the jewel tones against the contrasting white trim and windows and doors, I've used the white Villa Vanity and that deep ruby color on the walls. And I brought that out in the rug on the floor as well. I have put the washer and dryer into an alcove as well as the toilet and the little toilet paper holder. And I think this is just such a cute little bathroom and you can walk into it from the garage there's no car in here because I have not moved a family and I actually don't have a dad with just two teenage daughters. Since this is a requested build, you can just kind of take it as it is and use your imagination. So that's the first floor and we're gonna come up the stairs here and see the second floor. You come up onto a landing, which I've continued the teal color up the stairs. There's just an open area right here where you can look out to the front of the home. And on this side is a nice big bookshelf for the family to store all of their books. And right back here is just a beautiful little gold and white area where they can sit and relax and read. I love how this looks with the lights on the wall and that teal and white together and then the dark colors on the floor. I think this is just such a pretty little landing up here. So you're gonna come through this door, you come into the master. I didn't want to make it too feminine since it's for a single dad. I wanted to make it kind of unisex, so I made it the gold and black. And I hadn't used this for a while. I've used it on a loft and a couple of other homes, but I love this color combination too. So you have more of the deep gold on the wall with, again, the contrast with the trim and the doors and windows. And then here is a nice long walk-in closet where I've taken another one of those black light fixtures and hung it over the bench area in the closet. And I think that looks really nice because it brings the black from the floor up into the room just a little bit more. So there's not an ensuite master bath. There is a family bath right here at the top of the stairs. So as you come in here, this is another room I really like. I really, really like the shower. And then when you use the French doorways, it looks like there's a column in between. I've created a little vanity area for the girls in the bathroom here. Continuing upstairs with the same vanity just to give it some, you know, some unity in the design of the home. There's a trash can there, the towel rack, and there's also a little alcove over there just like downstairs for the toilet and the toilet paper holder. 
I think this is a very cute little bathroom, but do you see what I'm talking about, how they create that little column in the middle when you use two of those French doorways together? So that's that side of a home there. On this side is for the girls. So this is the first of the teenage girls' rooms. I wanted to make them very different because I wanted it to look like they had different personalities and tastes, but they do have closets that are kind of alike. I've used the black light fixture again and you can see what I've done with that closet unit and those French doorways and I just love it. She has a ceiling fan, the farmhouse bed, which I've paired with black and white furniture because of the black railing on that headboard and footboard on the bed and then it balances it out with the black carpet, the black nightstand and then there's a stereo and TV there for her as well and a computer desk. Now we're going to come to her sister's room which I've done in pink and black. So she has the same type of closet unit. She has the pink and black bunk bed and nightstand, but I just think this looks so good. I love it. I wish I had thought to use the French doorways before on this type of thing. She has those lights too, but only two of them sort of hang down, and it looks like it was just made for that little vanity area there. She has her own little computer desk, and she also has a little place there for her purse collection and her own gaming TV as well. I think it's a very cute room and I'm very happy with how really all of the bedrooms came out, but especially the teenage girls' rooms. So we're gonna zoom out and take an overview look here of the second floor. This and my last build that I just posted yesterday are two very simple builds. This one may actually even be easier to do. So we're gonna take a look at the furniture now the garage was already there, I just moved it up and sort of shortened it a little bit from what it was already here on the lot. And then I added on the living room, but back there was the laundry and bath. We have the patio that I sort of redid, but you can see where I've put everything in that laundry and bath area and created those two little alcoves, which you'll get a better idea of once we go to the grid with the measurements. The first actual room I did build on was this living room. So you can kind of see where I put the furniture there. And then I built on this kitchen. And the last thing I built on was that laundry room and bath. So coming upstairs, of course, this room had to be built to connect the staircase. So we have that landing there. And then we have the master bedroom, which again is very simple. That long, nice walk-in closet. And this is the family bathroom. I don't want to call it a hall bath because it's not in a hall, but it's the family bathroom with the separate shower and toilet areas. And then over here we have one of the girls' rooms and her closet with the doorways there. They're not walk-ins. They're sort of built-in closets. And she has the same sort of setup there, just arranged a little bit differently with her closet there. So now we're going to look at the grid with the measurements coming up but I'll give you the garage first because it was already there. I just sort of adjusted it a little bit. There's the bathroom and the laundry and toilet areas. Then we have the living room here. Very easy build. Kitchen. So upstairs is the landing. And then once you have the landing, it's very easy to connect all of these rooms. We have a small bath with the shower and toilet stalls side by side and then a decent size master, and then that nice master closet, and then we have one girl's bedroom here, which if you're gonna build it, obviously you can make it anything you want it to be. Any of these rooms you can make for any type of person, girl, boy, baby, um, senior couple. You could make a TV room up there, an office. You could do anything you wanted to. And there's definitely a room also to make a basement or a third floor. You could slide a staircase in right beside that one up there on the landing and make a third floor if you had a larger family. So baby girl dad, thank you so much for this request. I was excited to do it. Once I got going on it, it really has become one of my favorite builds as far as how fun it was to do. So thank you again for your request. And to everyone else, I hope you've enjoyed this and I hope I've given you yet another very simple floor plan that you can do. And I'd really like for you to remember when I give you these floor plans and you see them decorated the way I do, remember, decorate them in your own style with your own things that you have in your inventory and make them with your own taste. Mine is just to give you sort of a guide and a good floor plan to use and maybe just a few tips on how to decorate it 
for those of you who are kind of feeling stuck in your game, because believe me, I've been there. I've had that feeling where I'm kind of stuck and bored. So hopefully I've given you a little bit of inspiration. And if you're new here, welcome. And thank you so much for joining us. To everyone else, have a wonderful day. Thanks again, and I'll see you next time.